Natalie Cook won Olympic gold in 2000 and has been awarded the Order of Australia medal and has gone on to become an Australian icon. We caught up with Natalie to find out what it meant to win Olympic gold and what motivates her to strive for gold at the London 2012 Olympics. The day we won the Olympic gold medal, Kerry Pothast and myself, life changed. It was unbelievable. The gold medal became like its own currency in Sydney for at least four years until the next one in Athens. And it, just the people that would want your autograph, the photos, the sponsors, uh, the doors it opens. You know, I used to maybe try and call the Prime Minister of Australia and they wouldn't know who's Natalie Cook, but now, of course, they pick up the phone. So, you know, to have a gold medal next to your name, to have an Order of Australia medal, uh, it just service to the sport, a lot of respect from people. And one of my fellow Olympic gold medalists from 1996, as soon as we won, came up with a bit of a punch on the shoulder and said, welcome to the club. And it really is another level to go when you win an Olympic gold medal. My motivation to keep going back to the Olympic Games, with London being number five, is to wear the green and gold for Australia. To march into the opening ceremony with 400 odd other athletes and hear the crowd go wild, and then to stand on top of the podium and sing Advance Australia Fair winning a, another gold medal is what it's all about for me. Well, what an amazing athlete, Kerry. Natalie is in such great shape leading up to this event, and I'm sure she's reaping the benefits of competing here today. Yeah, well, it's a great foundation for Cook and Hinchley. Sets them up for a really good entry onto the world tour to help them qualify for 2012. But right now, we're in the first set, Orchard and Naismith from South Australia. They're pretty experienced and this wind is really going to help them in the campaign to perhaps win a gold medal, who knows? Well, they're going to have to work really hard, a part-time team up against the full-timers in a nine-all situation, first set. Olivia Orchard serving to Natalie Cook. Locked out by Naismith, Cook again. Nice little pokey for a winner. Natalie's so good at that, she always sees the opening. She'll take it whenever she can. Orchard and Naismith leading 12-10 though, this is Nat serving. Tough serve, it goes in the net. Oh, a little drop shot, play, Olivia Orchard. This will look great on the Renault replay, saw the opening. Tamsin Hinchley peeling back off the net, just couldn't get good body position. Cook and Hinchley, they've put their foot down now, they've got their first set point. Is that in? No, just out. Hinchley not happy with herself, but they've got a few more in the bag. Set point number two, Orchard and Naismith have to do something really special here. Can they convert this one to save another set point? Cook, good pick up. Cookie can't crunch it away. What can the underdogs do? They need to crush this one. Ah, uh, no, they don't. It's in the net and Natalie winds up because they've won the first set in the gold medal match. Great work in defence by the South Australians, but just unable to get a good enough set to finish that off. Cook all over it. Second set action underway. Nat Cook, Tamsin Hinchley winning the first and for Orchard and Naismith they're going to have to take their game up a notch to take it off the full-time athletes. Two love the scoreboard here. Olivia Orchard keeping her team in that point. Natalie Cook with the second ball though. Class. Anything she gets on the net, John, she'll just finish off. If it's close, she doesn't need to set a partner. She sees the court so well. 7-3 the score now. Natalie Cook playing great defence. She just knows where to be and hits the big winner. No, ball's in play. Here comes Hinchley. Too easy down the line. See this on the Renault replay. Just being six foot three, there's no, there's no better answer, is there? Absolutely. You don't have to be tall to play beach volleyball, but it certainly helps. And that's why you see Tamsin running from the serve into the block. This time Natalie getting great defensive up. Can't finish it. Can finish it off the hands of Orchard. Not good enough on the block. Cook and Hinchley. And you see Nat there, looked like she was going to have to stay and block herself, but the ball floated up and she hits the winner. And of course, our number one seeds, Cook Hinchley, they really put the hammer down. They are now leading 19-11 for Orchard and Naismith. They've got to do something pretty special to get back into the gold medal match. And that oh, was pretty special. That was great, John. You see, Stacey Naismith sees the retreating blocker Hinchley and just hammers it in a spot she cannot control. 19 points to 12 now. Natalie Cook. In the middle of the court. Oh, hello. Wow, that's one of the best spikes she's had all day. And that brings up a gold medal point for our number one seeds, 2013. Cook for the win. And again, she does it. Natalie Cook, Tamsin Hinchley, number one seeds from this event, take the gold. Tamsin Hinchley. 
And here's the replay, the final point, Cook crushing it. She just looks so fit, it's like 1996 all over again. Yeah, she's absolutely stoked and she's going to be loving having that gold medal around her neck. It was fantastic. We've been building every match this weekend and to have the final be that clinical was um, tribute to our coaching staff, Steve and, and Peter Jones. And it's great to be playing in front of family and friends and for Tam to get her first win here in St Kilda. Well, what a fantastic weekend at Beach Volleyball. I'm here with Kerry Potas again. What did you think of that? Well, the women's final, John, I thought was very clinical. Natalie Cook, Tams and Hinchley just taking it out. They were just superb. The men was exciting. Fifth seeds coming wow. up and winning the event. Um, Cedric Legrand, Will Mercer, so aggressive at the net, really using the windy conditions to their advantage here. Absolutely. We've seen all the weather here. We'll see you next time. Round five of the Renault National Beach Volleyball Series right back here at St Kilda.